<laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm in Denver, Colorado, actually over at Electric Bike Outfitters. These guys make electric bike kits. And then I was meeting with Robert and Adrian and learning about how one of those kits was installed on a really special electric, well, I guess it wasn't electric until you had this, some sort of contraption that enables your son who has Dupe 52? 15Q. 15Q? Okay, I was like, it's it's a new thing to me. It sounds yeah, kind of rare. It is very rare. What's the situation, you know, can you just explain what kind of what that means and in terms of how he behaves or what the limitations were? Because this thing is pretty special. And yeah, you know, how this might relate to other people who have a situation like sure. that. Sure, he has a lot of motor uh, planning issues. Um, he also has autism. And so he does not have long attention span and yeah. is not able to steer a bike on his own and the bigger he got he weighs 80 pounds now okay and he gets pretty active because he loves the bike he loves riding the bike Aww. and um, so he jumps and or bounces and rocks back and forth and so the three wheels are a must when it comes to to that three big wheels too <laughs> right you got you got some really yeah, they're 26 inch wheels really yeah. stable situation so I guess ever since how old is he now He'll be 12 in May. 12 years old. Okay, so he loves going outside. Loves it. Has tons of fun on a bike, but you couldn't, regular bikes are a challenge. Very much a challenge. Robert would try to take him out. We had a, a trailer, a, a Weehoo, which it was a reclining trailer, um, but he would start to rock back and forth and Robert just couldn't handle him going back and forth like Aww. that. So, yeah. So, yeah, we had to, find some solution there was a, a year or two where we didn't do any bike riding um, and then we happened to just come across this bike uh, from from freedom concepts in canada how does one come across this bike <laughs> like lots of we... research yeah, i mean <laughs> yeah we just research spent special needs bikes mm -hmm. adaptive bikes okay th so those are the keywords adaptive special right. needs you know and mm -hmm. and you said this is a canadian company it is yep why um, am I not surprised, right? I mean, <laughs> right. in the snow too, you don't want to be slipping and sliding. Right, uh, you know, unfortunately <laughs> there was nothing in America. Um, we, we had originally come across, it was a side-by-side -side bike over in Europe that yeah. we were considering. But oh my gosh, like those motorcycles where you have a little like passenger it's, car? Yes. It's sort of like a, yeah. And, How awesome. Um, but we're like, well, if we're trying to go down a bike path, we're just going to mow everyone down. You know, nobody's going to be able to get around us. Sure. And, and so um, we have some obscure post. We came across this uh, this company in, in Canada. So what is this called? So it's the this the excursion ET. Can you what what's the? So it's a it's a um, ET twenty six hundred tandem. Okay tandem because you got the front seat right and uh you know the two things that we needed obviously looking for a bike were, were two seats but we needed something that we steered and that he didn't have access to to the handlebars <laughs> Um, okay that's the that's the key because yes. a lot of times <laughs> the tandem yes. you know you've got a passenger in the back who yep. can't steer right? right who's just right. trying to look over the shoulder hanging on for their lives right, <laughs> right. um you know, there, there's a, a bike called the buddy bike okay which it's a similar setup to this, but it steers from the front and it's got really long handlebars. Huh. And we took it for a test ride up in Vail and he could still grab the handlebars. And rock back. And rock oh. it back and forth. So we're like, you know, this, this isn't gonna, gonna work at all for him wow. either. Um, so we definitely, and we wanted the three wheels for sure for stability. Yeah. Um, and some of the other tandems where he sits in the back, we're like, well, all he's getting is the view of the back of us. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. Um, so having him set up front where he gets the full 360 view, um, and then we're raised up a little bit over him. I was gonna say, this this seat's lower, so yep. you, you kind of end up looking over. Exactly, right. and this seat adjusts up and down as well. So as he gets bigger, um, and it looks like it's on a track. It slides yes, forward, backward, and up and down. Wow! And then you've got this. Okay, so this is so that his feet don't fall off. Right. So we can secure his feet in there. Are these all special things you added to the bike? Nope. Nope. This is, this is all comes standard on the bike. Was this designed specifically for people it like was. you? Yes, With, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Wow. And they make different models. This one is probably the more on the severe ne needs, but they also make one where it's an actual wheelchair in the front oh. for an adult, and then you can go somewhere and the wheelchair chair detaches. Oh, and cool. So you go yeah. and walk around and then reattach and go, go again. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And this company is really, do they have a website or what's it they called do. again? Yeah. Freedom Concepts. Freedom Concepts. So freedomconcepts.com. Um, yep, they make, oh, probably eight or nine 
they have about eight or nine lines of, of different bikes that they make. Yeah. Um, varying levels of age as well. So they, they make small tricycles um, with handles on the back oh. um, for younger kids. And they then, make those backpacks with the leashes too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's this, by the way? I noticed there's, a, is this uh, like a back massager thing yeah, going on? Yeah, no, this is where the controller is. The, for, the, for, the, for the motor. For the e-bike kit yep, portion. E -bike That's a clever place to mount it because this yes. was, that is the one thing you've modified. Right. And this might, I mean, if they're watching the Freedom Concepts folks, it's like, this is probably, I mean, how heavy is this bike? So this bike weighs about 86 pounds. That's a lot um, to move. Plus a, a fairly sizable 12 year old, you yeah. said like yes, 80 pounds 80 or something. Pounds. <laughs> and, and he weighs 80 pounds now. So yeah, we're, we're pushing a heavy load. Right. Yeah. Um, so, you know, they do offer um, an electric kit that they'll put on. And when I got to researching it, 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 not knowing a lot about electric kits, I was like, well, you know, I don't know anything about it. I think it was only a 500 watt kit that they offered. Sure. Um, you know, the price to me was rather steep. Yeah. Um, and so then when I came across Electric Bike Outfitters and he's like, well, I got this 750 watt motor. Um, I'm like, now that sounds more of like what we're going to need for this bike. Yeah. You know, because it's going to be able to, to handle him when he gets to be 20, 25 years old and he's sure. 150 to 200 pounds. Um, it's going to be able to handle that weight as well. And this kit, I believe it's called the Clydesdale, and yeah. he says it's just bulletproof because it's a gearless direct drive motor. So you don't have gears kind of mashing. Yep. You just have magnets and electricity flowing. Yes. And it's, uh, I don't he was saying 30 amps or something. So right. it's pretty powerful. Yes. Before yeah. we get too much more into that, I, I just wanted to call out some of the other neat things that I saw. You got the fender up here. It looks like these cables are what actuate the steering. Exactly. So if you... Um, it's the channels, so that that's what handles the steering from the back. Wow. And they're pretty out of the way, so you won't get yes. caught up. But if the feet are attached here, it you were saying that it's set up to freewheel, but you can also lock it in while you're riding, so you can you can yeah. you can help them along, like exactly. to get that exercise. Yep, so right here, so there's two two settings um, that will match how I'm pedaling. One it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so for every revolution the back does, the front does one, and then um a, a, 50% setting so he will do two revolutions for or one revolution for every for two, every two. so it's just a slower mellower yeah, exactly this. so it gives him it, it, it helps his body understands oh this is the movement back and forth to pedal uh -huh. um, and then he all can also get kind of the, the exercise get the muscle memory down and so um, it hmm. helps tremendously because we can tell him now all right pedal 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 and he'll he'll start to make the motion. <laughs> he's like get going so, yeah so it's great that's but, sweet and, and then there's this a harness so yep. that no one's gonna fall out yes and that was another big key for us um, because he does like to rock back and forth he'll stand up he'll do different <laughs> things so we needed to have him <laughs> confined in here um, so it has a, a chest fun. chest heart, um, belt that goes across, um, a lap belt, and then a secondary upper chest belt that wow. goes across. So he's definitely strapped, strapped in. in. I don't have to worry about him when we're yes. riding. What was this here? You got some sort of a... Oh, it was a dinosaur on here. Oh, it fun. For a little horn, but... Yeah, it didn't stay it didn't, on. It didn't. Uh, <laughs> it went extinct, survive. I think. Yes. It <laughs> yes. And then there's this special bar, so lots of places to grab on. Is that the yep. idea? Yep. And yeah. he'll just kind of hold on like this, and and you know he'll he can, he can move it, do whatever he needs to do, but it gives him a sense of somewhat control. It looks like it's considering how much energy you're describing, and even that example there. It looks like the bike's holding up pretty well. Like, have you had anything break or nothing? Nope. Just nope. a dinosaur? Just, just a dinosaur. dinosaur. Yeah, that's been it. And that was aftermarket, too. <laughs> yep. well, then tell me about this again. What does this so, do? So this would be, um, if, if I can put a, a phone in here, and we always wanted to see what his face was like when we were out for a ride. Oh. Um, and so we put, I put the phone in there, and I videotaped it one day, and, and I mean, just the smile on his face Aww. the whole ride. And he's talking away and just, because uh, yeah, he's typically, he's nonverbal. Yeah, okay. But he makes lots of noises, and so he was just, just going to babbling. town. Loved yeah. it, babbling and, and uh, making lots of sounds. All right, you ready? Shall we go? <laughs> Wow. Um, so that's 
So, you know, we're definitely wanting to put a mirror up here too so that we'll be able to see him. That's going to be our next Oh, that's adaptation. fun. Because, yeah, you were saying, like, you want him to experience the adventure, yes. but then you also want to experience the joy, exactly. you know, so, seeing your son and yep. everything like that. What's his name? Aiden. Aiden. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cool. <laughs> I like it. Uh, and then coming back to your area, so you've got this big rack here. Is this just for if you go grocery shopping or something? Yep. Or what do you do with that? Um, grocery shopping, or if we want to go on a picnic, we, mm -hmm. we can throw something back there and, you know, put ride up, there put a cooler. You could put a tent back there. Yeah. I mean, this thing could, yes. <laughs> you could go to town. You could probably ride all the way to Canada if you put right. a couple more Battery batteries back. on here. And I like the way they mounted that out of the way. You got disc brakes, it looks like. So yep. some decent stopping power. Mm -hmm. uh, and then is this you know, this uh, telescoping or was that a... Yeah, yeah, so this is the steering mechanism here um, and it can fold down if you need it to. Huh. I want, oh, and you don't need to hurt your hands. I know sometimes those get really tight. So. Is, how do you store this? I was kind of curious. So um, this is a bit longer than a regular bike. Yeah, so we actually had to clear our, our garage out. <laughs> <laughs> Park the car on the street. <laughs> yeah, um, and we were able, actually able to find a corner of the garage to back it up into so it is out of the way we can still oh. park both, both cars, cars in there because it does it, look clean oh yeah, sorry and sorry it's nine that. feet long so it, yes. nine feet yeah nine feet that's great how, do you know how wide it is by any chance i i want it's not much wider than a standard tri trike uh -huh. bike which was which was really good so we can still ride this down a bike path um get around people if we need to and they can get around us if if uh, they need to sweet okay so it's got the pedal assist you got the mm -hmm. throttle on demand and then up here in the cockpit there you got the comfortable saddle yes and then can you just show me how this works how you use it sure so um so turn it on there you go the big lcd yep. does this one yeah it looks like you've got uh, a little bit of a swivel so if yes. you, you so get you some can, glare or anything can adjust it um and then we got the throttle here, which is great because since this bike is so heavy, with, with the pedal assist, you still have to try and get going. Yeah. Um, so uh, if we're out on a hill, we can hit the throttle just to get it get it going until the pedal assist kicks in. Yeah. Um, we do have some gearing. Um, it is an eight speed. Cool. Um, but since it is a single sprocket, the gearing, it's more for, for torque, so you can put it on, on the lowest speed and get going as well if, if you don't if you don't need to use and it. And this looks like, an, is this an internally geared hub? Or? It is an internally ge geared hub. So do you yep. shift it standstill? Does that work okay? Or? Yep. Okay. Yep. I've always thought that, you know, for those moments where you stop unexpectedly or you just forgot to shift down, right. then you're kind of like, oops, <laughs> and you kind of <laughs> don't want to start in the 10th gear or whatever. Right. You know? And we do that a lot, especially with the, with the, with the motor. Yeah. You know, we'll stop and it'll be in the highest gear <laughs> or the lowest gear and you're trying to pedal and you're like, oh, holy cow, hold on. Let me Even after years of riding, yes, me too. <laughs> it's one of those those areas. So you got the buttons and you can go through some levels of assist here, yep. it looks like, yep. for different, different support. And yes. All the way down to zero if you're on it, you know, yep. going downhill to conserve mm -hmm. the battery cool and then five if you need it when you really when want to cruise because i mean yes i've gone 25 miles an hour he's gone 30. oh boy <laughs> yeah i hope you're wearing a helmet yeah and see, see you know i mean what, what can it do yeah to test the limitations of it can, can i can you hop on and and give it a little ride sure. sure. sweet i'd love to see just from a third person perspective here it's kind of getting suited up Look at this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty quiet too. It's just it really just a fun thing. I bet this brings a lot of smiles to people's faces when you guys are out riding it, huh? It turns a lot of heads. Yeah, I bet. And every time we go out people stop us and say where did you get it you know I have a brother or I have a cousin and that could really benefit from this bike so well thank you for sharing hopefully some more people will discover this video and and have uh maybe get just get the juices flowing the creative ideas because everyone's got some some different situation but cycling can just be so much fun and healthy and some some way to spend together so, so if if someone's riding this do you guys have another bike that you you kind of go along on? We do. Um, and we we actually had to get another motor from him because I couldn't keep up oh. on a standard bike. Is she the captain <laughs> so, usually on yeah, this? Like, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep. so, uh, so I came down and got another motor from him and we threw it on a bike and you know now we, we, we both go out riding and I mean we'll go you know 20 mile rides with no problem. Fantastic. It's really nice.
Wow. Well, again, thank you so much for sharing your time. Sure. Robert, Adrian, this has been a real pleasure. And I uh, wish your, your family more fun and, and great rides in the future. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. So oh, here, let's go. We, we can we can keep going. Let's go up to that. I want to see it. We were trying to, you know, the other thing we were trying to figure out is how are we going to transport this bike? Oh, yeah. And I was. I thought you just rode down. I didn't know. We did. And, and we were like, you know, there's some places that we want to, you know, take the bike out and go to different trails. And so we came across this trailer um, and it just barely holds the bike, but it's it's perfect. Wow. And that, I mean. And the trailer actually folds up. As I was well. gonna ask, do you lift it up or does it kind of tilt down or something? Um, we actually pick the bike up and put it on there. Um, we are eventually gonna get make some kind of a ramp set up so yeah. that we can just put it up on there. But um, yeah, we pick it up, strap it down, and away we go. That's fantastic. Nice, nice, good car for this area too. Yes. You got the all-wheel drive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you could, if this gets caught in a ditch, you can put a rope on it and, and put, tow it off. right out. <laughs> yeah, there <Yes>. you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh man, these well, pedals are a little short for me, aren't they? Yeah, you can just probably just set your foot there. Look at that, because yeah, they are freewheeling. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna pedal. <laughs> My phone in there somehow, maybe. <laughs> do I? I don't need to steer or anything, do nope. I? Right? I just get to hang just out. Right along. <laughs> okay. This is so cool. Look, it's it's doing it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Sweet. And then, so it's on, uh, so now we're on the highest setting right now, and it, you know, it, it, it gets up to speed. It goes. Wow. What's the top speed that you guys hit with this? Um, I think we got it up to 30 miles an hour once. 30 miles per hour? <laughs> yeah. Are you going down one of those hills? <laughs> no, yeah, we, we, there's a, a part when we go bike riding that it's, it's a two-lane road. And so we tried to go really fast to get out of traffic. Oh. And, uh, yeah, got it up to 30 miles an hour. It was awesome. It's pretty quiet. It is, which is, which is great. Oh boy. <laughs> You're getting us up on two wheels? It feels pretty, <laughs> feels pretty stable considering. It, yep, yep, it's great. So this is my view right here. This is so cool that you can pedal along. Those are super short crank arms too. Yeah. So oh, you just locked me in. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know you could do that like on the fly. Yep, on the fly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, it's awesome. And, and it has actually two speeds for the front pedals. One is it's a one to one ratio and the other is a two to one ratio. So if I want him to pedal as fast as I am, uh -huh. I can set it to that or do half speed. Oh. And, and then it'll just, it'll, it'll, it'll 50% of what I'm settling. So we're having fun. <laughs> this is cool. Wow, wow. And I noticed that you have a fender so that he doesn't get super soaked. Yes, because um, we do, we do um, <laughs> dirt trail riding with it as well. And uh, so yeah, he doesn't get covered in dirt. You got a suspension fork set up even, so it's like yep. kind of comfortable. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that I'm having fun too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing around. That's so cool. Do you remember, I mean, these bikes are kind of expensive, right? They are very expensive. Um, this originally was going for about $7,500. Wow. Um, but there's a, uh, um, every year, there's a project that helps raise funds to pay for special needs bikes. And so we actually were able to raise the funds for it oh. and got it for about 5,400. Do you want to share the name of that? fund or how um, did that work dang, i'll have to look I'll have to, oh it's a great bike giveaway the great bike giveaway that yep. sounds and, awesome uh, every uh february is when they they they'll put up the different bikes that they want to uh that they want to make available for people wow is that a colorado thing oh boy my no. feet fell off uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, nationwide, nationwide thing? fundraising thing yep okay it's good to know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great organization. Um, they, they help a lot of people. I mean, they usually, um, they usually, oh gosh, help raise funds for hundreds of bikes for, for people. So this is the loading process. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys what it looks like getting it onto the rack. And that just lifts it up. Nice. Oh, and they got that little slot at the front. She just did the parking brake, I believe. Beautiful. <laughs>